Welcome to the Liquids Radar Level Measurement Interactive eLearning Module. My name is Stephanie, and I'll be your guide. There is also a menu to the left of your screen and buttons on the bottom that let you navigate. Whether you are measuring liquids, slurries, or bulk solids, Siemens provides the ideal level measuring instruments for every job. Liquids level applies to a very wide range of industry applications, from simple storage vessels to extremely challenging process reactors. There are three main reasons why radar for liquids is a great choice. Vapor, pressure, and temperature. Other technologies often struggle with these conditions. Meet our liquids radar family, used for continuous monitoring of liquids. Just like other families, they definitely look related, but each member has its unique characteristics. Henry is going to introduce each of them to us, so you can be sure to choose the right one for your application. First up, Meet the Citrans Probe LR. The Probe LR is a two wire, six gigahertz pulse radar level transmitter for continuous monitoring of liquids and slurries in storage vessels with nominal pressure and temperature and up to a range of 20 meters. Their Probe LR is ideal for applications with chemical vapors, temperature gradients, vacuum, or pressure. These can include tank farms, chemical storage, digesters, and those with long-range conditions. Next up is the Citrans LR200, a 2-wire, 6 gigahertz pulse radar level transmitter for continuous monitoring of liquids and slurries in process vessels, including both high temperature and pressure, and up to a range of 20 meters. Key applications for the LR200 include liquid process vessels with agitators and or turbulence, vaporous liquids, high temperatures, anaerobic digesters, asphalt, and other sticky products that can build up on the antennae. And here is the Citrans LR250, the ideal first choice in 90% of applications. It has a threaded PVDF and horned antenna option. It's a two-wire 25 gigahertz pulse radar level transmitter for continuous monitoring of liquids and slurries in storage and process vessels. The 25 gigahertz frequency creates a narrow focused beam, allowing for small horn antenna options and decreasing sensitivity to obstructions. The Citrans LR250 measures superbly on low dielectric media and in small vessels, as well as tall and narrow vessels. And now, the LR250 is available with a flanged encapsulated antenna for use in applications with very corrosive or aggressive chemicals. The new antenna features a TFM 1600 Teflon lens that is resilient to most chemicals and approved for use in applications requiring FDA approved material. The TFM 1600 lens antenna is a very cost effective alternative to the more expensive traditional Hastelloy C antenna that would typically be used for corrosive applications. Our liquids radar family has a variety of communications options. In addition to the standard 4 to 20 milliamp, Hart, Profibus, and Fieldbus Foundation are available. Remote programming can be performed with Sematic PDM and FDT tools such as Pactware via Citrans DTM. AMS is also supported. This offers full and user-friendly information exchange between you and your system. Now that we've met the members of our Liquids Radar family, let's look more closely at frequency. There is no single radar frequency that can be applied effectively on all applications. Low frequency is important for some applications, and high frequency is needed for others. Let's get Henry back to break down the difference for us. In most applications, higher frequency has several distinct advantages over lower frequency. Lower frequency does have an effective role in certain environments and in applications. But generally speaking, higher frequency can service over 90% of the applications you will meet. Even though the electronics can be more expensive with higher frequency devices, the performance is much better, and the process connections can actually be less expensive. Here is a basic storage tank application. It looks like the perfect location to install an LR200 with a shielded rod antenna. 
but the LR200 may actually require several costly antenna changes before it gets a strong signal. However, if you choose the LR250 on the same location, it's a plug and play. You walk away with a clear, strong signal immediately. The difference in beam angles between the low and high frequency instruments also affects the readings for standpipe installations. As you can see, the lower frequency LR200 has a lot of reflection within the standpipe itself, creating a noisy echo profile that looks like this. The narrower beam angle of the higher frequency LR250 avoids reflection within the standpipe, thus giving us a much stronger, sharper signal. As long as we don't anticipate buildup on the LR250 antenna, the LR250 is the perfect choice. Even on this very challenging standpipe installation, a good signal can be achieved with the LR250. So that explains the difference between high and low frequency. But where does that leave the LR200 with its 6 GHz frequency? Where should it be applied? Lower frequency radar still has a very important place in many applications. Because 6 GHz frequency has a longer wavelength than 25 GHz, the LR200 performs better for applications that involve foam, buildup, and turbulence. Henry, can you give us some specific examples, please? Okay, sure. Let's start with foam. Foam can generally be grouped into three categories. Let's first look at wet foam. Wet foam has the consistency of a milkshake. Because of the high density and moisture content, 6 GHz will reflect from the surface of the foam. This is true of 25 GHz as well. If the application requires measurement of the material surface itself, then additional instrumentation or equipment, such as a float and a target plate assembly, for example, would be required. Please note that it is doubtful that wet foam actually tastes like a milkshake, and we do not recommend it. Now let's look at low density and dry foam. This type of foam is similar in consistency to a bubble bath. Both the LR250 and the LR200 can penetrate the surface of this type of foam, and you can measure the material surface in this case. But as you can see from the return signals, the echo strength has almost disappeared from the 25 GHz radar, whereas the 6 GHz radar is still providing a relatively good material reflection. In this example, the 25 GHz radar would likely experience poor measurement reporting and loss of echo. In these particular types of foaming applications, the LR200 has a clear advantage. Medium density foam presents the most difficulty for any non-contacting level instrumentation. Medium density foam shares properties of both low density and wet foams because it has a fairly high moisture content but typically not enough for microwave reflection. While density allows the microwaves to penetrate the surface, they are quickly absorbed, leaving little to no energy return to the radar device. In these types of foaming applications, hydrostatic level sensors such as the Citrans PMPS can be an excellent solution. Consult your local Siemens application engineer to discuss the best technology for your application. There are always lots of options when it comes to foam. In some applications, material buildup can be a concern. When the LR200 and the LR250 are clean and free of buildup, you can expect the same measurement performance seen in any simple liquids application. However, as buildup occurs on the antenna, there is a significant difference between 6 GHz and 25 GHz radar performance. 25 GHz is more susceptible to antenna buildup, and the signal will be greatly attenuated. 6 GHz, however, cuts through the buildup, and while there is some attenuation, material detection can be significantly better. In applications with very turbulent surfaces, the LR200 also has its advantages. 25 GHz reflects very well from flat surfaces, but when those surfaces are not flat, 25 GHz frequencies can scatter or be reflected away from the axis of transmission. The result can be very low to no material detection. 6 GHz is not as susceptible to turbulent surfaces thanks to the wide wavelength 
and as a result, material detection is typically more reliable than it is with 25 gigahertz. Wet wells with extreme foam, nasty buildup, or agitation are often challenging for other technologies. And even though radar is not a magic wand, in applications with these conditions, the LR200 radar has proven to be very effective. Let's look at some of these real world applications now. Anaerobic digesters can be challenging applications due to the presence of foam on the surface, variable concentrations of the vapors, and a very high concentration of CO2. Other technologies have trouble measuring foam as their high frequency signals get attenuated. However, the low frequency, explosion proof, or intrinsically safe Citrans LR200 overcomes these challenges and measures the total level as it reflects from the foam surface. Plus, our sliding waveguide antenna is the perfect addition to the LR200 installation on anaerobic digesters. It allows you to slide the horn antenna up and completely out of the application while closing the valve. This permits access to the radar device without having to interfere with the process. This is a big advantage, as it eliminates the need to shut down the tank and degasify. All in all, much safer for the environment and the workers, and plus it allows for easy maintenance. Alongside the LR200, the CLS200 capacitance point level switch is often also installed on anaerobic digesters for safety reasons to detect foam before the overflow level. Bitumen is a significant ingredient in the production of asphalt for the paving of roads and driveways. It is hot, sticky, and well known for its buildup. The LR250 works very well in this application when the antenna is clean and free of buildup. But as we saw earlier, it is more susceptible to build up as it occurs. However, with the LR200, even with the antenna blackened from the bitumen, level detection is still reliable and uninterrupted. And that's it for me. Thanks for listening. I'll hand you back to Stephanie now. When you were answering the questions, hopefully you remembered that the Citrans LR200 is great for those trickier applications but that the Citrans LR250 is still the best choice for 90% of industry applications. If you're searching for a solution to measure the level of your liquid, whether it's chemicals, crude oil, or wastewater, Siemens Liquids Radar Family has the solution for you. For more e-learning modules like these, please visit Siemens.com forward slash PI dash e-learning and click on Interactive Modules. For additional information, you can also visit our website at Siemens.com forward slash radar. And if any of our e-learning modules pique your curiosity and you would like to learn more, then we invite you to come visit one of our training centers at any of these locations. Our in-depth courses include hands-on training from application specialists. You'll get to play with actual PI instruments and learn about them in more detail. For both introductory and advanced training, go to Siemens.com forward slash PI dash training and register now. This e-learning module is not only viewable on your computer, but on your mobile devices too. All major mobile devices are supported, including Apple, Android, BlackBerry, and more. BrainShark even offers an app for Apple users and an app for Android users for a more interactive mobile presentation. So get mobile. I hope you enjoyed learning about our Liquids Radar products and where they should be applied. Thanks for watching.